Hey, what is up YouTube? This is gonna be a short little video about the gas mileage after installing a, oh man, this is really bumpy. I may have to stop real quick. All right, so hopefully this is a little better. I thought it would be a little smoother, especially mounting it on the dash uh, with this little tripod I have. But no, the roads here are just way too bumpy. I was wanting to go to, be driving, just so I don't waste gas for no reason. I guess it's for a video, but I don't like sitting and letting the engine run. And it's also really hot, so I want the AC going instead of shutting it off. But basically, I'm just gonna talk about the gas mileage after installing a high stall torque converter. What I have installed is a TCI 26 to 2700 RPM stall torque converter. I've had this new torque converter in my truck for about a month now. A uh, week after installing it, I went on a road trip up to Dallas for about a week, and that's about a six and a half hour drive. I think like a 300, 400 mile drive there, and then same going back. And the torque converter did well. I put in a aftermarket transmission cooler. I do have a video on that on the installation if you want to watch that video. But why do I make these videos about gas mileage, reliability, drivability, the pros and cons for uh, daily driving a vehicle? Some people give me criticism. Uh, they're like, why do you worry about gas mileage if you do things to your truck that's going to decrease the gas mileage? Well, me, I only have one vehicle. It's my, this is my truck. I mean, I could have a car, but I'd rather have a truck. I can do more things with it and stuff. So with the truck, it doesn't really get gas mileage, like good gas mileage to begin with. So with these modifications, I wanna know how much gas mileage is gonna lose since I don't have that good of gas mileage to start with. And I feel like a lot of my viewers want that too. They wanna know if they can still daily drive their truck uh, doing these modifications. So that's why I make these videos. So now for the past three to four weeks after the road trip, I've reset everything. I've been driving the truck to and from work and my results for gas mileage are really shocking in a good way. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting better gas mileage than I did with the stock torque converter. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a fluke. I don't know if it's something I'm doing. Maybe it's just the different commute. I just got a new job. So that could be a variable in it. I don't think it's gonna be as much of a variable as one mile per gallon. I'm getting one mile per gallon better, which I know doesn't seem much, but literally for these, this modification, I should be seeing a couple miles per gallon on average drop in gas mileage, and I'm gaining one mile per gallon. Uh, usually these tunes, you know, like the Edge tune or the Diablo tune, the economy tune, whatever, you put in there it doesn't give you even one average mile per gallon i don't know why it has to do this especially during normal acceleration the engine has to reach a higher rpm and it has to sustain that rpm until it reaches cruising speed and in theory that right there should lower the gas mileage because it's having to use more fuel so i really don't know what's actually going on i have a basic knowledge of it but i'm not too sure why it's getting better gas mileage if anyone knows in the comments section let me know because uh, it's pretty weird that I'm getting better gas mileage. I'm still I'm on the same tune. The transmission is tuned exactly how it was with the stock torque converter, which the torque converter that I have right now says it can run without being retuned. And um, yeah, so everything is the same on the truck except for the torque converter. So I don't know why I'm getting better gas mileage. But that does not mean you will be getting better gas mileage. I've been reading forums and it is typical uh, with a higher stall torque converter that you do lose quite a bit of gas mileage. And this also depends on if your torque converter has lockup or not. If it doesn't have lockup and you have a, a 3000 or 3200 uh, stall torque converter and it doesn't have any lockup, you're gonna see a major decrease in gas mileage. Just because cruising and on the highway, uh, your torque converter just never locks up and it doesn't have that full efficiency. If you do have a lockup torque converter, while you're on the highway, it'll lock up and it's like you don't even have a high stall torque converter, it'll feel like stock. So highway driving is identical. City driving is what's really gonna suffer just because all the stops and goes, uh, you're accelerating and all that. That's really what gets on the gas mileage because uh, your engine is having to go at a higher RPM. So also think about that if you're gonna install one if you do a lot of highway driving or a lot of city driving because that can affect you both ways. So that's gonna be all in the video. Uh, I hope I covered the gas mileage thing. I still don't know why it's, I get better gas mileage. So please comment down below. I'm just as baffled as you are, if you are baffled at all. And uh, hopefully I covered some things. It's very simple on the gas mileage, why you get less gas mileage. So it was really quick to cover that. And um, as always, I'll see y'all next video.